Oh man. Not that again. I ain't playing that. Alright. Some fun? Some fun. Alright, see less. You have 45 minutes. You made it again. Yeah, but you made the other time too. For my grave to my hand, or he lets me special summon one to the field. Okay. That one lets me reveal a dark to draw a card, or I can reveal an earth and a fire to inflict 1500 damage to your life. Okay. Do you have anything on your draw first? Uh, okay, I'm gonna reveal a dark to draw a card. Thank <laughs> you. 
600 damage to your life, and then I get to special summon a vanquish soul monster from my hand. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon uh, yeah. and Terra. Uh, <laughs> then you take 600. The second one is that I'm gonna inflict another. Uh, the first one was 400, that was my bad. I said six. The first one was four. The second one is gonna be 600. And this one is gonna uh, uh, inflict 600 damage, and then monsters, uh, vanquish soul monsters I control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. Cool. So there goes the 600. And then the last one, that one's going to be 800 damage. And that one is going to do 800, and then we're going to destroy every single monster on the field. This one gets destroyed. Because it's not a bank or something. You said destroy every single monster on the field? Yeah. My monsters are. All of them. It's because. As, as you remember, the second effect, uh, my Vanquish Soul Monsters are, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Yeah. So then everything gets destroyed, and since this isn't a Vanquish Soul Monster, that gets destroyed. I figured if, uh, if I keep some monsters on the field, <laughs> that might help. Yeah, super points, huh? God damn, those powers are cool.
So I think here your options are like cyber, striving, and machine, right? Mm -hmm. We can double check if you want, but I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Hey, Judge! Here you go. Yeah. Hey, uh, for Escados, he has to call something on the field, right? Escados, it says to declare type on the field. It has to be one on the field. It has to be something on the field. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, cool. So yeah, so your options here are yeah, like yeah, Cyber, Dragon, yeah. and Machine. Right. It doesn't have to destroy what he calls, uh, yeah. but he does have to call something that's a viable target on the board. Not target, but like that. Yeah, something that's here. Present. Something that's present. Yeah, yeah present. Um, so are you not calling it off? Drop it down? Anything on standby? You guys are fucking naughty over there. Yeah. Just 
This one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you only take 500 off of that, okay? Main course. Fire. 
Earth, Dark, Tapakana yeah, Field, I'm gonna so go apply this one. Damn, no. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Hey Miguel! Hey, so I'm explaining to him the last turn there was a Rosin on the field mm -hmm. and he called Warriors and then I activated one of my orders to bounce back the Rosin. There was no Rosin on the field, there's no Warriors on the field. He couldn't destroy a Warrior, so I'm not locked out Warriors. Alright, so as long as uh as long as the, the valid target was on the field at the time of calling it, but he has to be able to destroy the It doesn't have to destroy it. it they both work the same way, uh, both Exodos and the uh, Protos. The Protos has to destroy it, right? Because mm -hmm. Protos can call Dark, not destroy himself, and still lie. Yeah. He just has to call something that's on the field. You missed a couple? I think I saw that over there on the table. Oh, man. But it says that. What, uh, declare an attribute on the field? Yeah, yeah, but I bounced back the attribute, so there's no... Oh, but it, on the it's, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I used to put protos on the field and make Omega, i do um, call flights and then Omega bounce itself. Because uh, it doesn't summon, Omega just calls back. And it's like, David, you pretty much get put on having a hit. Because <laughs> it's hard 
Oh, you can't tell me warrior because of this. That is a warrior. I didn't even realize that was a warrior. <laughs> Special one for my hand. Uh, effect on some. I'm gonna declare war. So it's not a quick effect, you gotta wait. So I'm oh, currently, to, yeah, I'm currently on my summon effect. Yeah. Added a monster, you have an effect that you're activating because oh, I'm gonna take I want to activate, but if it's not quick, I know I've been trying to get used to it, not quick, but I'm pretty sure this is where you can activate since the window of response is back to you now. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna activate this and say warrior. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's a lot of effects I'm here trying to. Yeah. His effect must return. The attack card cannot be destroyed by opponent card effect. I'm 
32 to your 21. Take uh, 13. 28 to your 12. Uh, take 16. Mm -hmm. Or not 28, 27, my fault. 27 to your 12. Take 13. But yeah, you're good. Uh, so it's just fine. I don't know. I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, there's like lights on also. I wanted to name the dog. Attacker 19. Yep. And then this one's going to be 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just 200. Uh, main dose. Set one. Uh, attempt to pass. That's a really good one for Funny thing I've done now more time than I've ever thought. I, I've opened Draggling and Twice more time than I can count. So what I do is I go Engraver, Trap, Search, 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 it's in my hands. Okay. 
Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay, cool. So you take uh, 25, right? And this, uh, you gain 25, right? right? You gain the attack? Right. Oh, shit. I subtracted it instead of adding it. And then it says that every time I special summon, right? Yeah, I was gonna normal summon just so I can have some extra damage. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took me all the way to the end. I was like, God damn it. <laughs>